few weeks ago I did a feature on a guy named Terrence Ross. It was the first and only time where it confused me as to what exactly went wrong and what deficiencies that guy had. Well today is a lot like that day because today's feature is a guy that you would picture as the prototypical basketball player. 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, built and has the attitude slash toughness of a football player, can shoot it and has a very smooth stroke, jumps out the gym literally and actually has great IQ. So what went wrong? Well, upon further research, I'm confident in presenting these three reasons to you. Terrence DeJohn Williams, born June 28, 1987. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. Ash, get it! Williams was a star at Raina Beach High School, a school known for its former star players like Jamal Crawford and Nate Robinson. In his senior year, Terrence helped his team to a state title in 2003. He averaged 21.7 points per game as a senior. He was still raw at the time, but one thing was clear. He possessed everything needed to one day be an NBA All-Star. That's just the thing though. Being at the top of your craft takes more than what's on paper. Stunt number one, you get out what you put in. This is a quote that swirls around many young athletes' heads because it's said by so many people around you at that age. Also at that age, some athletes neglect to let that sink in. If any young athlete is watching this video and wants to know the secret to having everything you ever wanted, well, listen to me. I've seen what works and I've seen what too late means. Put in the work, now. It's such a simple concept, but monumental in developing a skill greater than your class. You can't simply work just as much as the next man and think you're gonna be better than that man. Because what if he's just naturally better? or naturally taller, or naturally is in a better situation where he has trainers because of his NBA dad or wealthy parent. You have to want it more, and not just to get there. You have to want it to be the very best there. In my opinion, Terrence didn't want it enough, or didn't realize what he had, which is everything that he needed. He would go on to commit to Louisville over schools like Indiana and Kansas, which turned out to be a great decision for him. He was amazing there and showed pretty much everything as far as skill, athleticism, and leadership during his time. He was a four-year player for the school, but really could have left after his sophomore season if you ask me. He had all the tools to do so, but somehow always came up short. That's simply effort and will, folks. He finished his career at Louisville with averages of 11 points per game, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. Now if I told you I had a guy built like Williams, as well as he shoots, passes, plays defense, and has a high motor, you'd never guess that this player not only stayed four years, but averaged such low numbers, right? You get out what you put in. Stunt number two, attitude determines your altitude. Another opinion in gym I'd like to give to you young athletes is to have a great attitude about things, especially in the world we live in where everything you do is caught on camera and placed online. Therefore, everyone is on edge, hoping not to be world starred because they were disrespected in some way. You have to let some things slide in order to get by. Be a chameleon. It'll get you further. Terrence Williams was drafted with the 11th pick in 2009. Like I said earlier, if you just looked at his game, you'd never understand why this guy with these abilities doesn't have the numbers or accolades he should. But most importantly, when you look closer, it seems he just can't stick with a team more than a season or two. In fact, he's never played a full two seasons with any team and has only played six years in the league. Then you look closer and you see the same thing happening with his Europe teams, China, D-League. No one seems to want to be around him. In his first season, he impressed everyone with his amazing leaping abilities, but even more with his IQ. Terrence was a smart basketball player, man. When you watch his highlights, it jumps at you how good of a passer and slasher he is. He sees the game before his opponents do, and it's really impressive. I think if a team really worked with him and invested more into him, he could have been a triple-double machine and be a solid second option to like a LeBron James. He's not a leader, no, but with a strong leader, he'd be great. I just can't help but feel like people just didn't mesh with this guy for some reason. There's no way his talent couldn't stick anywhere unless he just wasn't likable. And that's an attitude issue. Stunt number three, the last straw. And I think maybe the biggest reason Terrence Williams' growth was stunted was because of a situation in 2013 
which led to his arrest for allegedly brandishing a firearm in a violent and threatening manner towards the mother of his child. Gem number three, guys. Forget love, man. Just forget about it. It just has no place in being great. What I mean or what I don't mean is I'm not saying not to have a companion, but don't force it if you really want to be the best. Let that one come to you. You'll know when they do, but forget trying to chase that and end up in a situation where you're sharing custody and threatening a woman who then tells on you and has the father of her child arrested, makes you pay her for a child you both created and turns your world upside down. Focus on you and solidifying the future of your family for generations, building a kingdom like every man should. Love is a trap unless it's for you. At this time, Williams was on his last team, the Boston Celtics. In his previous five seasons, he hadn't averaged more than 8.4 points per game, which was in his rookie year. He'd spent some time in China and the D-League by this point. But this situation is really the one that has him out of the league at only 31 years old. Once you begin to have trouble with the law, you just can't be represented by a business as big as the NBA, especially for the crimes alleged. Domestic abuse is never right and never worth it. Who knows what really happens, but I do know no team will welcome an underachiever with those allegations anywhere near their business again. Terrence would average a career seven points per game, three rebounds, and two assists. A huge disappointment and a what-if player in my eyes. But hey, life goes on for him, so hopefully he finds happiness and puts himself in a position to teach others one day. Shout out to everyone that's been requesting this guy. You guys seem pretty high on him, so here you go. Shout out to everyone that's been rocking with the channel. Y'all let me know who y'all want to see next, and I'll try my best to get that to you. It's your boy JC, Stunted Growth, and I'm out.